Former Associate Commissioner for the FDA and the President for the Center for Medicine in the Public Interest, Peter Pitts, back with us. Great to have you in studio, Peter. Good to see you again. Um, I've asked you this question before, but now we know more. Is this all the FDA's fault? It, it definitely isn't. I mean, the, the rest lays squarely on Abbott. Uh, their plant was in horrible condition. The lack of corporate integrity is absolutely shocking. But what's even more shocking is Wednesday, two days ago, the President said, Nobody could have anticipated that we're going to be shortages when this factory shut down, which is inconceivable considering that the week before that, R Rob Califf, the commissioner of the FDA, said in three separate congressional testimonies that uh, they knew what was going on, they knew there was going to be a shortage, and that they were taking measures to avert it. So, you know, it's a shocking that the president is not being appropriately briefed. So, okay, let me play you that soundbite. So a day ago, Joe Biden was asked about this. We know the lab was shut down in February uh, because of contaminants, okay, which the FDA does all the time, by the way, uh, for it's in the public's best interest for them to be doing things like that. Uh, but here's what the president said about when he became aware of this baby formula, not shortage, crisis. Here's the deal. I became aware of this problem sometime in after April, in early April, about how intense it was. And so we did everything in our power from that point on, and that's all I can tell you right now. Does that surprise you? It, it does surprise me. You know, it, it shows that there really isn't any communications going on inside the administration. You know, the commissioner of the FDA works for the Secretary of Health and Human Services who supposedly sees the president at regular cabinet briefings. So you know, I would think that if there's gonna be a baby food formula shortage. Crisis. crisis, crisis, absolutely. We've had moms and dads on this show, they cannot get baby food yeah. and you, you know what it's like, kids are, are, are finicky. Right. If they're used to a certain formula, that's all that they will, will right. eat, But it's even, even if you can't get your hands around the fact that there's a shortage, certainly someone's telling you this is politically dangerous. Right. I, I just don't get it. It's, it's shocking to me. Exactly. So that's the key word. If somebody came into the Oval Office and said, Mr. President, this is going to be politically dangerous if you don't confront this issue, um, this is only going to get worse and worse for you, heading into very consequential midterms. Um, do you think that that was lost time? You oh. know, that three months, could the administration have been addressing this and do doing more? Oh, absolutely. You know, so what, what, what happened right away was the FDA obviously began to remediate the plant with Abbott and also you know, reached out to you know, certain constituencies. But then they stopped. You know, there was no real plan with pediatricians, and their pediatricians are, are now upset. Yep. There was no plans to tell parents, listen, here's some news, you're not going to like it, but you need to be aware of it. And I think the lesson learned from COVID-19 is that when you tell people the truth yeah. and you're transparent, they may not like the news, but they trust you and appreciate it. So just about 30 seconds left, but parents, grandparents watching right now who are taking care of uh, little babies, what would you suggest? What would you advise? Well, I think we've got, we've got a month left of shortages. You've got to continue to scr scrounge around and look to friends and do the right thing and just hang in there. And it, 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 this will pass and sooner rather than later. I hope so. All right, Peter Pitts, good to see you. Thanks so much for being on with us once again. We appreciate it as always. Have a great weekend. Uh, we've got a lot more coming up here on Newsmax. Stay with us.